Hi guys, it's Carolyn, and today we are making my pepper jack cauliflower. It's good stuff, it goes in the slow cooker, it's super easy, so let's get started. First, we want to spray the slow cooker with a little coconut oil spray, just so things don't stick at the end. And then all you have to do for your cauliflower is really just break it up. I find that that works a lot better than trying to cut it the whole time because then you get a lot of little crumbles. So I just break it up with my hands into florets, get rid of the core, and then we just put it all in. That's as simple as that. Then you just take some cream cheese. This is about four ounces. Dump that in, two tablespoons of butter, a little salt and pepper. That's to taste, but you know, I do about one teaspoon. Pepper, I just eyeball it. I don't think I ever measure pepper out properly. So you just cover it up. Start your machine for about three hours. And you put it on low and you let it cook. So now our cauliflower has cooked for three hours on low and we're just gonna add plenty of pepper jack cheese. You can add as much as you want. I've grated already. I've got about a cup and a half here, but I'm gonna grate some more because it tastes good and it makes it extra cheesy. So then you can just add the pepper jack right into your slow cooker. It's nice and hot. Just sprinkle over, get it all in there. And you're gonna stir everything together. And you want that pepper jack to get nice and melted, so you're literally just gonna put your top back on and let it cook for another half hour. And after 30 minutes, you can turn off your slow cooker and you can add your bacon. Of course there's gotta be bacon, right? So this is about six slices of nice thick cut bacon and it's already pre-cooked. And I just sprinkle it in. Keep a little for garnish on people's servings. That always looks nice too. And give it a stir. Mix that bacon in. Everybody's gonna want that part. And then you can serve it up. You're gonna see just how cheesy this is. It's delicious. It's kind of like mac and cheese, really, but with cauliflower. And then you can just sprinkle a little bacon on everybody's piece, and they're gonna gobble it up. For this great recipe and more, come visit alldayidreamaboutfood.com.